Hey everyone, how's it going? Lance here, I wanted to update you guys again on the Forester off-road build, kind of keeping you guys updated the best I can as we go through here and get this thing upgraded for a little bit more off-road driving. Uh, also trying to do this kind of in parts and not spoil a bunch of stuff as we go along here. But, long story short, I have a set of wheels over here. I actually ordered up five, only three of them are here right now. I think the other two are probably still out on a FedEx truck, but ordered up five Black Rhino Boxer 15-inch uh, wheels. They're basically the exact same specs in, in like diameter and offset and all that stuff as the Method MR502s, um, but they're a good bit lighter and they're newer. And anyway, I'm really excited to see them. So let's box them up and I'll talk more about why I'm doing these over the MR502s. So quick view of the specs here before I get into this again, Black Rhino Boxer is the relatively new wheel. I did get them in their uh, matte black, or I guess they call it gun black here. I guess I thought it was a, a matte black, but um, plus 15 millimeter and they're 15 by seven again. So it's really all you need to know. Let me crank this over here and move this box a little bit. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys like these unboxing videos. I like them when I'm buying something new because it's kind of cool to see them like, you know, brand new and see how they show up. So, uh, let me kick this camera up a little bit, pull these out. All right, the unveil, I feel like they're upside down. Nope, they're not. Uh, I should know that first things first, these things in the box uh, feel astonishingly light. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. For some reason, um, I thought they were gonna be more matte color, but I'm not sure how well you, well you can tell in the, the camera there. They're definitely like, yeah, like I would say like a, uh, like a gunmetal black, the kind of like combination of that gunmetal color with like a black. They're almost like a really, really dark gray, uh, more so than a straight black. I think I'll put them up next to the methods here in a sec, but gosh, these are so crazy light. That's awesome. Uh, so you should still take my Subaru center caps if I want to use them. I know that I've seen some of these with the there's like a black rhino, it just says BR center cap, but um, I thought they kind of came with the wheel. Let's check here. Oh, it does, that's cool. There's, your, there's what appears to be the center cap. Let's pull that out real quick and just throw it in, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, again, I may or may not use this. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I may use the Subaru center cap. So there's the black rhino center cap. Pop it in here real quick. There we go. Definitely more black. I'm not sure you can tell there. Center cap's definitely a hair more black than the than the wheels. Let's compare them uh, to the 502s. I apologize for the lighting, but I hope you can kind of get a good idea of the color difference I was talking about here. Um, give me a sec here, I'll show you this, and then I'll kind of talk more about the wheels. But the methods on the right um, are definitely a more uh, more of a matte black, official matte black. And again, this is kind of like a gunmetal cross to the black. So I like it, it looks good. Um, but there's a little difference in the color than I actually thought they were gonna be. So I'm curious to see how it looks once we get it all on. It should look good, but anyway, so coming back to my original question, uh, you know, why would I go with these wheels when I already have the MR502s? Uh, the big really, the big and real, real reason being uh, came down to weight. So I mentioned before, uh, I'm gonna lift this Subaru a little bit earlier than I had planned, which is why I went with these tires. Um, so now that I'm actually gonna be lifting it sooner than expected, I do have a bigger set of tires on order. Um, and they're a full-on light truck tire. They're not a passenger or P-metric tire like these Toyo Open Country uh, AT2s are. So with that said, I'm really looking to keep the, the weight down as much as possible, especially on the wheels uh, in the rotational mass category. Uh, so these being a bit newer, and actually I didn't even know about these when I bought these methods. So um, again, these are a relatively newer wheel, are awesome in that they keep the same specs basically as the methods. Uh, they're still a cast wheel, just like the methods, and I believe they're the same material. Uh, so again, apples to apples comparison. They are, um, they're a little bit lighter. So about, about three, I believe it was 3.4 pounds lighter per wheel than the methods. So the methods are definitely overkill. They're more of a rally wheel designed for rally racing. Uh, and when you get down to it, I think most of us, especially even me, even with the off-roading that I that I do and plan to do, uh, I think that that extra weight with the methods is, is probably overkill. Um, so I don't think we need that durable of a wheel. And again, if you're comparing apples to apples, the heavier wheel in this case is still gonna be the more durable. Uh, but I, I'm happy to save the weight here. So once we get the bigger light truck tires, we're still gonna be heavier than that setup by a couple pounds, but it's 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 much better to be uh, where we're gonna be with these wheels than it would be adding those huge tires to the methods uh, when it comes to 
you know, keeping the, uh, the weight to a minimum for acceleration reasons because it is just a 2.5 naturally aspirated motor, uh, but also reasons like the, um, the overall weight of the vehicle uh, and gas mileage.